Courtney from Killing It with Coupons, and here's my CVS haul for you guys this week. Everything you guys see here would have cost me $60.08. I paid $7.61 plus $2.62 in tax. I saved $49.85. I used $18 in extra bucks and got back $18 in extra bucks, making my net cost the same as I paid $7.61. So um, there are definitely some really good deals going on this week, which I have to tell you guys about. Um, uh, the first one, let's just start over here, um, is the 7-Up. Um, the one I picked up was the 10. I didn't even realize that. I believe there are 55 cent printables on these, which would make this an even better deal. But I didn't use those. So this is the way I did it. They're 99 cents, a limit of four. I used a 30 cent coupon from the CVS Coupon Center and paid 69 cents for that. And then I also did the Wet n Wild Nail Polish. I picked up four of these. Oops. <laughs> these are on sale for a dollar ninety or normal price a dollar ninety nine at my store. Um, there's either these ones, the Mega Mega Last, or um, the uh, I forget what it's called, like the super fast dry one or whatever it's called. But they're on sale. Buy one get one fifty percent off. Um, I used four of the one dollar coupons from the seven twenty seven Smart Source. So you want to at least do this deal, um, at least pick up two of these and use two of these coupons. So that would be the minimum that you would pay. It would be ninety nine cents for two or fifty cents a piece. I paid a dollar forty, a dollar ninety eight for all four, um, which is fifty cents a piece, which is pretty good. And I really do love these ones. I've been, uh, I've been using these ones, and they're really awesome. So. Um, I got four of those. And then I did also get four of the Speed Stick the Gear Deodorants. Now, this one's a little bit weird just because of there's a buy one, get one free coupon. Um, and it will only take off the max value. So, at my store, these were $5.49. I bought two, which was $10.98. I used the, bo the BOGO coupon from... Oh, my goodness. What insert was that? That was from this Sunday's paper. But it only take the max off, which is uh, the four dollars and 29 cents so i wound up paying six dollars and 69 cents i got back a five dollar extra buck for when you spend ten dollars which is a limit of two so that's why i did the deal twice um and wound up paying a dollar 69 for two or 85 cents a piece which is a pretty decent deal for these and my dad was literally complaining the other day about how we have almost no more men's deodorant he's like we have too much women's deodorant not enough men's deodorant when are you gonna get a deal so I wasn't even planning that. That was totally by fate. Um, and then these are the uh, Oral-B, the cross-action toothbrush heads. These are on sale for $5.99. I used the $3 coupon from the 727 P&G. Paid $2.99, got back a $3 extra buck, which is a limit of two. That made these th free. You can also pick up the toothbrushes, which are the same price, and use the $2 coupon. Um and pay 99 cents for the toothbrushes. Um, I actually already have the toothbrushes, so I just picked up some of the refills because they're free and why not? Um, and then lastly, I did the Ragu deal, which is just a pretty good price. This is actually normally my stock up price on pasta sauce. So in I normally don't get it at drug stores. I normally get it at the grocery stores. But So this is a really good deal. Um, these are on sale, $5 for three. I used the 40 cent off two coupon from the 727 Red Plum. Some people, I think, got 60 cent off two coupons. That was what I got, though. I paid $4.60, got back a $3 extra buck for buying three, which is a limit of one. I paid $1.60 for three, or 53 cents each, um, which is, like I said, normally around 50 cents for the smaller bottles of my stock up price. I'll sometimes even pay um, 88 cents or so, sometimes even a dollar. But this is a really good price for these. Um, so I'll show you guys my receipt real quick. Ooh, if it's ever going to cooperate with me. Um, and then I also, okay, I was um, talking with the cashier that was there. And she had uh, mentioned to me because my dad was um, buying a gift card for my cousin. And so he um, was trying to figure out what phone number it was under. And the um, cashier, uh, he couldn't figure it out. So the cashier asked me when I came over. And... Um, she uh, rang up my call, used my CVS card, and um, so we found out that it was under, you know, my phone number. And for some reason, I don't get the CVS emails anymore, like the dollar off, um, you know, or percentage off coupons anymore. Or like when I scan my CVS coupon at the coupon center, I don't even get other coupons than what are advertised in the uh, CVS uh, ad for the week. So like some people, you know, get like... Uh, two dollars off a ten dollar oral care purchase or whatever you know and it tracks your shopping habits for some reason after the beginning of this year i never got any more of those coupons and i still don't get those coupons anymore so 
Um, then she asked the manager, you know, and she said, call the number on the back of the CVS card, because this has been going on, obviously, for a while, like, over seven months now. And, um, I've noticed it, but I really haven't done anything, because, I mean, it's a nice bonus to have those coupons and everything, but... Yeah, so I talked to them about that, um, and they just said to call, which was what I was going to do, but since we were there anyway and kind of had that, I just got confirmation that I should call and that there's nothing they can do for me in the store, but let me know if that has ever happened to you guys um, or anything like that. They just, you know, she was like, well, you know, if you just call them, you know, they might want to get a hold of you for something or whatever, and maybe that's why, but... I don't know, that seems weird to me that why would they hold out on giving me my coupons and my emails if they want to talk to me. But um, for whatever reason, this is what I wound up doing. And then also, too, I'll show you guys on my um, on my extra bucks. It prints, it doesn't print um, the name anymore. It just prints, like, valid customer or it might not even say it on there. But, yeah, anyway, I'll just show you guys my receipt and then show you that down at the bottom. So, up there are the Ragu and then the... Um, the 7-Up, the Oral-B, the Wet n' Wild, and then the um, Speed Stick. So I use the dollar coupons on the Wet n' Wild, the 40 cent coupon um, on the Ragu, the $3 coupons which were on the Oral-B, and then the four twenty nine, dollars which was on the Speed Stick, and then all of my extra bucks which I used $19 in extra bucks plus the 30 cent coupon on the 7-Up. Paid $7.61 after tax, I paid $10.23 and saved $49.85. So, I don't know if it even says it on my extra box anywhere, but, um, yeah, I'll, like, on my, um, my coupons from my, the coupon center machine, um, it prints on there just valid customer, no longer even says anybody's name, like, whoever the card's under, so, yeah, but let me know if that has ever happened to you guys, or if you guys, I mean, obviously I'm going to call, but, um, if you guys have had that problem and you have had it fixed or whatever, or have any clue, um, let me know and give me some more insight because I'm a little bit curious as to why this has been happening for so long. I just thought it'd be eventually like fix itself, um, but it hasn't. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was because I hadn't been shopping there for a while, so maybe that's why it wasn't tracking my shopping habits. But, like, I've gone every single week, maybe skipped once or twice for the past literally seven months since the start of this year because you guys know I've done my, um, the savings if you guys follow me on my blog you guys know I do my Courtney's countdown of savings um so yeah so I've literally been there every single week since the very beginning January 1st of this year um so that's what I was thinking it was but it's not um so I'm gonna call um but if not like I said if you guys have any other insight as to that problem um also if you guys want to find these deals and more, you can find them all on my blog, killnutwithcoupons.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, and Tumblr. I'll post links to all of those in the description below. Also, if you guys would, please subscribe. And lastly, one more little um, question I have for you guys. Um, if you guys follow my Shop With Me Sunday videos, um, which I post one every Sunday, <laughs> coincidentally, um, uh, I have a question on there about how you guys organize your coupons and how you guys stay organized in the store and how you guys make sure that you're getting like the right products and everything like that. Because I did a little quick um, little insight into my coupon organization as to how I organize my coupons right before I go to the grocery store. So I want to know from you guys how you guys organize yours. And yeah, so that's it for this week. I'll talk to you all next week. Bye, guys.